Physician Error Testing, which is a commonly used test for cervicogenic dizziness. Uh, with this test, you're looking at the ability for the head to rotate into various positions and to be able to find it neutral. So you're looking at the CCR and the COR. With this test, you'll need the patient to be sitting on a stool. You'll need a laser along with the target and a measuring tape. So once the patient is sitting and has the laser placed on their head, you're going to ask the patient to try to sit in a neutral position or where they feel like they're in neutral or their head is straight on. Um, from there, and really one of the important parts of this test is to calibrate your target to where their base neutral would be. So from here, I'm going to measure with measuring tape. You need to be 90 um, centimeters from the wall. And you're going to use their nose as a point of contact for that 90 centimeters. So after I'm going to have you scoot forward just a smidgen, perfect, so that's 90 centimeters there. Then from right where the laser is, I will then place the target right into the middle here to what her neutral is. Perfect. All right. From here, you're going to ask the patient to close their eyes and then have them turn their head. We'll start to the right as far as you can towards the right. Hold for about two seconds and then have them come back to where they feel like is their neutral. And then open your eyes. Very good. So that was actually really good. So she's keeping her eyes closed the whole time. And I'm just going to write on here one R. So that way I know around where she landed for that first time going to the right. Now I'm going to have you close your eyes, turn your head all the way to the left as far as you can, holding for that two seconds, and then coming back to the middle, or what you feel like is the middle. Good. And then opening your eyes. Okay. That's terrible. So here I'm going to put two, one L for first time going to the left. So then you're going to have them come back to the middle. Okay, so you're, you're recalibrating back to that neutral position. I'm closing your eyes here, I'm going to have you look up as high as you can. Hold for the two seconds and then come back to what feels like neutral for you. Good, opening your eyes, perfect. So that's one extension. Okay, and then coming back to the neutral, closing your eyes, going, bringing your chin down towards your chest. Hold for two seconds and then come back up. So it feels like neutral. And then opening your eyes. All right, one flip. So I'm gonna have her continue so closing your eyes, going to the right. So research will show up to doing this six times. Um, in the clinic, just because of, of time, I typically do three, and they're actually kind of stating that that might be a better option for us anyway, um, as there could be fatigue that plays a role. See, I think here we had one right, and then here, sorry, two right, that was her second one, and then two left. Okay, coming back to neutral, looking up, coming back down. So I'm just writing on here so we have a good idea. Wow, that's pretty good. Extension, coming back down. Um, where she is on the target. So a couple things to note in here. All right, and then, okay, so then that's the two reflection. Um, as she keeps going for her third round here, um, anything that's within this line, the blue area, is considered normal. Anything outside would be abnormal. I like to go one time in each direction instead of doing like five or three, excuse me, three to six to the right or three to six to the left. I like to vary, create variations. Did you go to the right? Okay. Um, so that way we don't have a level of that motor learning or that motor control while you're trying to test. That's good. Coming back down. Come to the middle and then back down, good. And then back up. All right, so right in here, so that's the reflection. All right, so then from here, I would document and write how many times we were within the normal. So for here, with going to the right, she was three out of the three. Going to the, I'm sorry, she was two out of the three. We missed one every, oh no, that was the, the left. So we were three out of three to the right. We were one out of three to the left, we were three out of three for extension, and then we were uh, two out of the three for flat.